Coverage tonight at 5 o'clock with anchor Tanya O'Rourke, who has brand new information from investigators. Tanya? Well, Craig, Carol, thank you and good evening. The four scenes in Pike County remain closed to anyone who does not live right off of Union Hill Drive here in Pike County. Chopper 9, by the way, is live over the scene right now, giving you a perspective you'll see only here on 9 on your side. We learned over the weekend that police found marijuana grow sites at the scene. Now, 9 on your side's TJ Parker is going to join us live now with another discovery that may explain what happened here on Friday. TJ. Well, Tanya, the autopsies are finished, and the results of those autopsies are headed back to the Pike County Coroner for official record. We're also learning more about some new clues found at some of those crime scenes. I can tell you there were multiple gunshot wounds on, with multiple victims. Hamilton County Coroner Dr. Lakshmi Samarco comments on the autopsies her office performed on the eight members of the Rodin family who were killed last week. I think that um, a single family uh, being massacred in this way is shocking to anybody and in any community. Dr. Samarco says a portable morgue was used to transport all eight bodies at one time. It's overwhelming to uh, to an office our size, and we're in a you know pretty large urban area, and I I can only imagine how overwhelming this was, and in in a small rural community with as tight as most rural communities are, this must be very scary and very disturbing. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine spoke on WLW radio this afternoon, giving more insight about what investigators found at the crime scenes, including the pot growing operations. Three of the four houses, you know, had a, a com what I would call a commercial marijuana operation. In other words, this is not, you know, a plant in a window or, uh, you know, six or seven plants out in the backyard in, in the garden or something. Uh, this is you know, they were doing this to sell. He's still unsure how that's relevant to the case, but says at this point, everything is relevant, including something else he found at one of the crime scenes. Well, the one thing I saw was, uh, I saw was uh, uh, chickens out there. Chickens? Know? Yes, this, this would be cockfighting chickens. DeWine wouldn't go into any more detail on what this means for the investigation, but it's one step closer to finding whoever may have done this. Now, Dr. Samarco wouldn't go into any specific detail on those autopsies. She's leaving that up to the Pike County Corner. Coming up at 6, you'll hear from a local businessman who is putting up his own money to help in the search in this investigation. We're live in Piketon. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.